I'm Augie Galindo. I'm one of the owners of Testosterone Centers of Texas. Yes, women do need testosterone. It's something that is a normal sex hormone for both men and women. So while we normally think of testosterone as being the male hormone and estrogen being the female hormone, both sexes need both hormones to be balanced. The symptoms of low testosterone in women are the same symptoms you see in men. So decreased libido is the most specific, but not something that's always noticed. Fatigue, and this is more of kind of a global fatigue, you're tired every day, it gets worse throughout the day, but it's steady uh, throughout. In other words, it's present throughout. You can have issues with inability to gain muscle mass, even though you're in the gym working out and doing what you should there. Difficulty losing fat mass, even though you're doing those things you should with your diet and your workout. Difficulty concentrating. Difficulty maintaining sleep. So if your testosterone levels are low, it's not something that's really going to affect how easily you fall asleep, but if your testosterone levels are low, it's difficult to maintain quality sleep. So you may spend the same number of hours in the bed as you always have, but you may wake up finding that you're not feeling as rested as you used to, and testosterone can be a component. The causes of low T in women are really not as well studied as they are in men, but even in men, I would say that it's not totally understood. I can tell you that the smartest minds in the field point toward things like endocrine system disruptors. These are chemicals, some of them are phytochemicals or phytoestrogens that, that are estrogen-like chemicals that come from plants, or you can have xenoestrogens that are, are man-made chemicals that look like estrogens to our body. Essentially, we have Miscommunic miscommunication with the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland and the end hormonal organ and women it's the ovaries and men it's the testes that are being bombarded with with information that tells tells them everything's okay and so then you have the brain not regulating production well then the ovaries not responding with the appropriate production so that's where I would say the, the linchpin is. Other things that can cause it would be just the normal loss of, of testosterone production throughout a lifetime, which is normal, uh, but should not be as pronounced as, as what we see with, with the, the multitude of our patients. You can also have things that uh, injure the ovary or uh, the surgical removal of ovaries. You can have oral birth control that can also change the way that the body talks to itself and again, affects hormonal production. Uh, so there are a number of, of reasons why low T happens in women, uh, but it all centers around number one, ovarian activity, but then that's all set upon the, how the brain, the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland speak to the ovary with their chemical messengers. So TRT works for women in the same way it does for men. Now I'll tell you that we don't start testosterone replacement therapy for women who still plan to have children in the future because there are just no studies done that tell us what the safety um, issues are with using testosterone in somebody who will eventually have a child and, and the effect that it has on the, the follicles, ovarian follicle or the eggs. So uh, that is something we recommend against. But if you are a female who has definitively moved past uh, wanting to maintain fertility or wanting to have children in the future or you're menopausal and that's not something that's even biologically possible for you anymore uh, testosterone replacement therapy still looks the same it's still weekly injections it's just with a much much smaller dose we're talking about a starting point that's about one tenth of what we would start a man on and so it still allows us all the same benefits we can use the lowest effective dose to optimize levels by minimizing side effects and all of that is something that you should feel benefit from within about three to four weeks of starting therapy. It really builds though in the second month when we have had some opportunity to allow your body to respond to the injections. We're able to look at your symptomatic response, we're able to look at your biochemical response, and then we start tweaking your particular therapy to your particular body. The kinds of results that women can expect from TRT also fall on a spectrum. It's all going to go back to the symptoms you were experiencing from it. So if you were suffering more from decreased libido and fatigue, then I would expect improvement in those areas. But all of those symptoms that are 
associated with testosterone can be improved with testosterone. We also need to be aware of the fact that when we look at 16 different sy symptoms that they're going to be all multifactorial. It's not going to, going to be just testosterone that's contributing to that. So we can't say that testosterone is going to fix everything 100%. But when we are careful in monitoring the symptoms going into therapy and then how things go along with our, our treatment plan, then we can expect improvement in energy levels, improvement in body composition. That means you'll be able to build muscle or maintain muscle better, but then also reduce your fat concentrations as well. You should see better sleep. In fact, better sleep is one of the things that is the cornerstone for having better energy throughout the day, have better concentration levels. All of these things should improve with testosterone replacement therapy if there are symptoms you had prior to and due to that testosterone deficiency. I'm Augie Galindo. I'm one of the owners of Testosterone Centers of Texas. Thank you for listening and watching. And if you would like to learn more, go to tctmedtctmed.com.